Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, and welcome back to yet again another FNAF movie news video. And as per usual, as we get closer and closer to the release of this highly anticipated film, we've gotten so much more news to talk about, including a whole bunch of brand new TV spots, an update on that real-life FNAF movie attraction we looked at the other day, as well as the possibility of this film being, no joke, one of the biggest horror films of all time. So we got that and so much more to talk about in in today's FNAF movie news video. If you're excited, scroll down, subscribe to the channel. That's the best way to stay up to date with all the news regarding the upcoming film. And to kick this video off, we have the very exciting news that tickets for the film are available right now. They first went up for sale on October the 1st. Now it's been about a week and a lot more locations, including the UK, are also able to purchase tickets. I got a lot of UK fans asking, when are they gonna go on sale for us? Well, they should be available right now. Also to celebrate tickets going on sale, we got the official FNAF movie Twitter account making this very ominous post. The caption says, searching for a new night shift security guard. Text apply to this phone number. And attached is a glitching photo of a newspaper. A lot of people may recognize very similar to the newspapers we got at the start of most of the early on FNAF games. And if you did actually text that number, you'd have a few back and forth conversations with Fazbear Entertainment, making sure you're suitable for the night shift job. And they would actually send you this official Freddy Fazbear security training tape. So let's have a look. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria. Hello, Kim. The genius who created Fazbear Entertainment opened Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria Just to indulge person. in his two greatest passions, family-friendly fun and cutting-edge animatronic technology. The endoskeleton. Our characters interact with guests in truly lifelike fashion. Look at Let's that. introduce you to the stars of the show. Yes. <laughs> Adorable, aren't they? Yeah, they're, they're so adorable in the in the terrifying static screaming creepy VHS tape, Kim. Thank you. So honestly, the main takeaway from this training tape was this shot of the official endoskeleton in the FNAF movie. And then we also have this character behind the endoskeleton fixing them up, repairing the endo. A lot of people have pointed out this doesn't quite look like Matthew Lillard, so this could be the actor who portrays Henry Emily. All right, well now we got a whole bunch of brand new TV spots to take a look at. This is our first one. So we got the hallway, the security office with Mike, the animatronics, glowing eyes, cupcake, ready, you shot a Foxy. We're going to have so much fun. We're at a PG-13. So a few brand new shots here, specifically some of the characters on the stage. This shot of the characters technically isn't new, but this time in this shot, their eyes are glowing. Last time we saw this in a trailer, their eyes were not glowing. So again, maybe they're changing some of the eyes, how they operate. We got the cupcake in the kitchen inside that fridge. You may remember when Carl goes to open the fridge. There's nothing in there, but in this shot, the cupcake's right there. He was taking a little nap and he wakes up. Creepy shot of Freddy with Foxy and Bonnie in the background. Then we also got a shot of Foxy whipping out his hook. Now these next few come from Universal themselves, so we don't have that terrible Twitter quality. Starting off with William. There's Mike. You will sleep, you understand? Abby. <laughs> this place has been shut down for years. It's huge and the ladies with the kids. Welcome to Freddy Hello, Kim again. Pizzeria. There's them up on the stage. New shot of Abby meeting Freddy. Come to life. Come to life. Max meeting Freddy again. Foxy walking around. Foxy lurking in the arcade. New shot of Freddy. This seems like it's a POV shot of Freddy. As we're up on the stage, we're looking down at Abby. Probably again when she first finds the animatronics on the stage. Get an extended shot of Freddy behind Mike in the dining room. Foxy walking around. You can see he's stalking Abby here in the arcade room. He's looking around, peeking through the gaps in the arcade machines. This shot of Freddy, this is interesting, because once again, the eyes have changed. Personally, I don't care about the arguments with the whole red eyes versus white eyes thing, but it's still pretty interesting the way they're marketing it. As we're going to find out soon, though, there is a lot more to talk about with this scene in particular and the eyes. So let's move on. Next TV spot. Here we go. We got Mike running in the hallway. Away from. Look at that shot of Foxy. This is a terrifying shot of Foxy. Especially when the lights go out here. Oh, especially when the lights go out. That is so menacing. Just his eyes, his eyes glowing in the darkness, his silhouette. That is a creepy shot. And we get his jump scare, a new shot of Freddy. Foxy walking in the arcade again. So that's all from that TV spot. Yeah, really main focus of this one, 
terrifying shot of Fox in the hallway. This next spot is actually very similar to the teaser trailer we got before we got all these trailers and TV spots. So this one's pretty interesting. Welcome to Starting Friday it off with Kim again. Pizzeria. The secrets that you keep. You've been selected as Freddy's Mike. newest security guard. This scene in particular, I'm going to pause, I apologize. That scene in particular where, where he's just going to be walking around looking at the animatronics for the very first time, that scene's going to be insane. Here we go, him with Freddy. So much fun together. Get tickets it's now. <laughs> it's been a weird night. Foxy walking around again. Freddy's. Sounds like Freddy's. Thanks, Vanessa. Brand new shots of the characters in that scene. Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica all lined up right there. We got Freddy, Bonnie, and Chica. Menacing shot of Chica right there. Ooh, boy. These guys look awesome. Now, this spot in particular that we're just about to look at is probably the most interesting spot we have for this video. And you're going to see why, like, two seconds into it. They just want to play. That is so weird. There's more to it, but, like, we've already got to pause. What the heck is going on here? We got Foxy in the back. You can just barely see him. Chica, Bonnie, Abby, and then Freddy is giving the death stare to Mike. Then we have someone saying they just want to play. But if you look at Abby's mouth, it doesn't really look like she's the one saying that in this scene. Like, it doesn't quite line up. You just want to play. Like, she's definitely not saying that. <laughs> so someone else is saying that. Then we got Chica winking. Sure, Chica, I guess. This scene is so weird. They're all just like... Having a standing off contest in the dining room. What is going on? Like, you can see just how confused Mike is. His arms up like, Bro, what are you doing with these characters? As I'm sure we're all mega aware at this point, Abby, the animatronics, they have some sort of connection. Obviously, in this scene, they're all buddy-buddy with Abby. And then Mike probably strolls in. He's like, what the hell is going on? And all the animatronics just immediately start staring at him. I want you to meet the others. And then speaking of weird TV spots, this one is also going to catch your attention towards the end. It's only six seconds, so here we go. Have you met them then? That shot right there. With all the characters once again lined up in that one scene, but if you look carefully, look at their eyes. Right, they start off pretty yellow, but as the scene goes on, they slowly change to red eyes. Again, we knew there is some explanation for why they changed their the colors of their eyes whether it's like they're charging up for a kill they see someone like extremely bad like william and they're like all right you know we've been killing a lot of people but this guy in particular he's got to go down freddy especially right in the middle the way he he's tilting his head as his eyes change color something's going on in this scene i'm thinking they're gonna go in for like a super vicious kill on someone yeah this whole time we knew there was some actual reasoning for the red eyes that's why they weren't ever going to remove them from the film they couldn't there's a story, there's a reason why they why they turn red, and we're seeing that in this exact spot. This next spot has a few new scenes of William Afton, so let's take a look. I have a security gig. This place has been shut down for years. Hello? And Fox a new shot, look at that. Kids running away. Mike running too. You want the job or not? <laughs> you want the job or not? I mean, come on, Mike, chop, chop. I love this scene so much. I love how sassy and, and snarky they're making William. You want the job or not? I want the job or not. Finally, for TV spots, we got five brand new ones to take a look at, each one themed around a specific animatronic character. So first up, let's start off with Freddy. Have you met Freddy? Have you met Freddy? And then we get this. We get like a, <laughs> like a fighting game intro screen for all the characters, Freddy. But we did also get this new shot of the dining room. You can see a bit of the stage right here with all the clouds and the lights going on. This also looks like... I mean, it's pretty clean. Like, could this be a flashback scene? Because, I mean, the chairs are all pretty nicely tucked into the table, so I feel like this shot probably might be a flashback. But anyway, Freddy. Then we get the scene of Max and Freddy, which we've seen plenty of times at this point. And then finally, towards the end, we get the characters performing on stage. And my god, do they look like they're having the time of their lives. <laughs> I really hope we get a long extended shot of them performing, because that's going to be awesome. And now we've got Bonnie's trailer. Have you met Bonnie? Bonnie? Look at the guy! Brand new parts and service shot as well, as well as his fighting game intro. So here is the parts and service room. You can see the corridors that lead to it. 
you can see a bit of an endoskeleton right here with the eyes i'm not seeing anything else really of note just seems like a whole bunch of endoskeleton parts and wires all over the place this was also a brand new scene of bonnie turning and looking this seems like it's the shot where they're all in, in the dining room again all lined up because you can see foxy's you know fur right here his ear a bit of his arm we've seen a lot of bonnie come on he's stupid with him and hank <laughs> and then we get this some of these shots oh my gosh he's sideways so i'm not entirely sure where this would be like during the film with the red curtains it seems like he might still be on the stage i guess and he's just turning on maybe this is when they pull the power or something he's still got his guitar so yeah i'm thinking this is him still on the stage but why it's sideways i i have no clue now we've got chica have you met chica you shot a chica right there and again their eyes were not glowing in that shot so first off get another shot here oh that's so funny you can see the other eye through the giant eye socket in the cupcake but their eyes are not glowing in the shot even though a tv spot we just looked at today as well had their eyes glowing so that's interesting get a whole bunch of brand new drawings i do think we've seen this wall of drawings before but i don't think we've seen them on their own so like we got the balloon boy easter egg here as well probably the missing kids drawing right here chica drawing a whole bunch of drawings and then chica so, look these glam shots are really cool actually and here new shot of chica in the kitchen with hank interesting that it's hank in the kitchen as well unless this is again some trailer trickery because it looks like he might just be in the dining room with the entrance right here now for the next character trailer you'd assume it'd be foxy well we still have one more character before him and you're gonna love who it is have you met cupcake he gets his own spot have you met Mr. Cupcake? What do you mean, Vanessa? Have you met Cupcake? What? It's so funny how they're treating him like his own, you know, and I, listen, I'm a Cupcake defender, but it's so funny to me they're treating him like the, his own member of the band. Have you met Freddy? Have you met Cupcake? And then we get a few new shots of the Cupcake. And also a brand new shot of The Office, which again, I think might be a flashback, right? It looks a bit different from what we've seen it in the in the rest of the trailers it looks a lot more clean there's no nevada poster for some reason because that was there for some reason and then we get him in the hallway just 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 sitting there just his eyes glowing in the hallway i feel like this is probably a trap like someone turns the corner in the corridor and they're like what the heck is this thing and then chica jumps out from like behind them or something i feel like this is an obvious bait you know all right now we can take a look at foxy have you met foxy him walking around again the hook Foxy. I love these cars, man. Hey! And then we get the hey! old security guard. Also trying to escape from Foxy in the hallway. And then again, him performing on the stage. He looks so happy. Or maybe this is the leader of, of the, uh, the people that break into the pizzeria. I, they look very similar in my opinion. So this might be the leader actually. Hey! And he dies from Foxy. Because I don't think we've seen who he dies from yet. So this might just be deja vu when Mike gets the same fate or this whole time again, it could be Foxy's kill on this leader guy. Anyways, that was all of the brand new TV and trailer spots, a whole bunch of them. And I'm sure there's still plenty more on the way. We do still have a few more topics for today's video. So let's rapid fire through some of those right now. First up, the pizzeria on Sunset Boulevard in Los Angeles that we took a look at last video. That now has the Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place sign on it. The lights are up. It seems like the thing is basically done. And as amazing as it looks, and as much as we prayed to the Foxy Lords above that this was going to be a legit Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria or some sort of walkthrough haunted house or attraction, that's unfortunately not the case. It seems like this is the final result of this project and it's simply just going to be an advertisement. A place where fans can go get their picture taken in front of Freddy Fazbear's Pizza in preparation for the film. You can't go inside. You know, people driving past on Sunset Boulevard are like, wait, Freddy Fazbear's Pizza? That's from FNAF. Oh, FNAF has a movie coming out? Let me go watch that. So again, as amazing and as fantastic as this looks, I am a little disappointed it's only for advertising reasons, but hopefully, maybe if the film does well enough, we can get an official attraction at Universal Resort or something. Thankfully though, even though we're not getting an actual Freddy Fazbear's Pizzeria, we are getting official Freddy Fazbear Pizza boxes. Select theater locations will be offering $5 Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Place Pizza boxes with the purchase of a large fountain drink from October the 13th to the 27th. So not only do you get a $5 pizza, which usually be a pretty damn good discount though unfortunately 
This is movie theater pizza, so it can't be that good. But thankfully, though, you get this awesome souvenir of an actual Freddy Fazbear's Pizza Pizza box, so that's pretty cool. Lastly, for today's video, we got some crazy news about the amount of money the film might actually be making. Now, something you may have known is that the budget for the film was approximately $25 million, which sounds pretty low, but for Blumhouse films, that's actually pretty high. But something absolutely wild is the fact that Jason Blum has said the film has more than made back its production costs just from the sale of its streaming and theatrical distribution rights. So to put that simply, any amount of money this movie makes at the box office is just straight profit, which is absolutely insane. I know a lot of people have been kind of kicking Blumhouse for throwing this on Peacock the same day, which don't get me wrong, I'm still very against that idea. And hopefully, they see how well this does and they're like, all right, FNAF movie two, we're not doing that. Because how well is this film going to do? Well, let me put this into perspective. Current estimates right now are saying that the film will make $12 million only from Thursday night previews, which would be the second highest grossing previews for a horror film of all time, only being beaten out by It from 2017. Which, by the way, that film made about $700 million worldwide from its box office run. The FNAF film is estimated to gross $33 million to $42 million during its opening weekend, which is massive. 60 to 90 total million domestically. And again, keep in mind, those projections are likely extremely low. These are weak old estimates, and this was before FNAF showed up on the goddamn Sunday night football game. Imagine you're watching the Chiefs game for Taylor and Travis, and you see Freddy Fazbear pop up on your screen because that exact thing happened to 30 million people. The main takeaway from this segment of the video, the film will do incredibly, incredibly well. Which personally, as a fan who has been waiting for this film for those eight and a half years since it was announced, I could not be prouder. I cannot tell you how surreal it is to see all this incredible news about how much money the film's gonna make buying my tickets the other day. You know, my dad texted me saying, hey, I just saw this FNAF movie TV spot as I was watching TV and I'm like, dad, that's crazy. You don't even know what's going on in that game. It is just a crazy, crazy time for us FNAF fans right now. In three weeks, we get the biggest project of this franchise's entire lifespan. So thank you all so much for joining me on this FNAF movie journey. Thank you all so much for watching this video because that's the end of it. And I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.